Yo, hey, what's up, guys? Vault Keeper Rixwell. You may be think he's bad, but in today's video, I'm gonna give you a reason why you actually want him. Maybe you haven't done Fire Knight 10 already and you need something to back you up, and basically, he got you covered. We are looking at a cursed set right now that is meant for a Hydra build. I'm gonna make another video about Hydra, why he's actually really nice in there, and you should probably check it out, but the cursed set is not playing a road in fire knight i'm gonna show you quickly my stats and stuff on him i think i don't have to talk about the the skill set of him and everything else but there's one thing i got i have missing right now but i still can do it it is no problem we can kind of simulate everything and everything should be okay but fault this defense where is it actually right there if you get it done on a one star you are basically set. He is amazing in Fire Knight. You're gonna go right straight into it. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why he is great in there. So Fire Knight, I made a team. Maybe not the best in the world for you, maybe overdone or something, but it's basically just there to show you what he's capable of. And that was just a quick, I'm gonna put a couple champions together, try it out, and it worked. So I was like, hey, that's cool. And later on, we can do like other teams where we, I'm gonna basically, later on, I'm gonna change the nude with a cold heart. You're gonna see it is sometimes working, sometimes not. But if I make a, a proper speed tune and everything, and then it's totally changeable. But at this moment, I'm gonna, just gonna show you how I set it up and what is he actually bringing. You might think, hmm, okay, he's gonna make your team. Yeah, he, you, your team will not die because of him. Increased defense and a shield, it is amazing. It is a really nice one. And also, what makes him really viable in here is the buff extension on that one while he has the decrease attack. Decrease attack is such a big thing in Fire Knight to be honest and he, he got it. And not only that, he got the counter attack all the time up. So if we get faultless defense and the boss hits us, those are 5 attacks for free. And then he's gonna do his counter attack, that's 7 for free just he standing there doing his thing and those are seven attacks for free and that is basically amazing i don't know if you <laughs> why people are hating him or something but in fire knight he's totally worth it so we're gonna jump in quickly i'm not gonna go into presets too much my run right now is carried about my rabbit at the moment and that that's kind of cool and later on you, you will see i will put a cold heart in there and it is kind of doable many ideas you can like i said seven attacks for free that is amazing to be honest it <laughs> another reason why he's so good he has the buff extension we have a newt right here so we can basically make newt have his own counter attack too for a long time we're just extending it over and over he's doing it one time in the beginning and we're just extending it and he can counter attack and that's those are three attacks more on a team like that those are 10 attacks for free and it's not even a special super duper setup like a shama el what i used in the in the uh, in the past and th those were 10 attacks for free too but it has a special setup you need debuffs and stuff but he's just standing there doing his thing and on the end you can just count on him that he's making your team really strong about the attacks firstly he's gonna cover our ass right now so we don't die and now in a second he's gonna place the decrease attack and gives us a ton of attacks while increasing the duration of Nude's count, uh, own placed counter attack and to be honest really nice he, he can bring so much to the table and I don't even got faultless defense right now and it is already working for you so just imagine five attacks more there's one thing about him, increase attack plus the shield will, will mean if the boss doesn't break your shield, you won't reflect damage at all. But you can kind of min-max it and go for HP values where you actually get your shield broken and stuff and it would be amazing. We, we actually could put a Neldor in there instead of a, uh, what's his name, Tomb Lord for example. And th there are many options in there, this is just a quick thing. I got Mikage in there because she brings her own buff extension and that makes our Nude have counter attack even longer and <laughs> i don't know he's he's really nice in here he brings so much to the table 
a bunch of attacks. A he makes our our team tanky. He is bringing a double attack on his A1 that is really viable. And yeah, <laughs> give me a sec. The speed on my Mikage Rabbit is kind of decent, but my Nude is kind of a little bit low speed and everything else. I will show you the stats in a second and something, but you already saw Fire Knight 10. He was in there and he actually did something. I, I didn't use him just in there for a free slot or something. And then I was calling in a day like, hey, it's so great or something. No, he actually did something in here. And this time we're gonna place a code up. If I can find her really quick. I think, yeah, that is the wrong one, actually. Boom! Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I made a oopsie. But sometimes I wish you can just filter in here so I don't have to go awkwardly all the way down there. Select the right one. I hope that I got the right one this time. I know that the video is a little bit longer. I'm sorry for that, but... Even I make mistakes. Please don't don't be mad and stuff. <laughs> so, but I always try to give you like really, yes, stuff you can do on the end that is reachable, new ideas, thinking outside of the box. Yeah, and sometimes not so easy as you might think. So, there are thousand things I have to think of think of if I do a team and even now I could go like 20 minutes even longer setting up the preset a little bit more so everything is even more stable for the video but I'm just not doing it yeah like <laughs> so this time please <laughs> everything is set up we can show that we almost killed the boss or something and not yeah <laughs> I hate it. Every time I do a video, it's like that. I prepare everything the good way. I'm like making myself notes and stuff. And then I do stupid stuff like that. So let's kill the wave. All right, Riho, you need to die. Let's get the weekend out there. Yes, smack them all. Almost all. That's nice. I think we got it. <laughs> And this team right here is especially covered on my rabbit. He does the whole damage right now. And it is changeable on the end. You can bring other champions if we set it up a little bit better. I, I thought about someone that can recover your max HP. And then it would be a little bit more easy. So you can just do it over time without any risks or something. But yes, now let's go. Ally attack. Break the shield. Ah, we didn't. Ah, I want. I need the leech out there. That's where fought this defense would would be like so amazing. I got a couple more attacks, and we basically would be fine. Cold heart didn't die this time because she is the right cold heart. And yes, vault keeper made her actually survive. Nothing else. I think I turned off the leech skill of Razzlebug in general because I need more attacks or something. Didn't we get the increased speed? Now I'm like you, I'm, watch I'm watching what's happening. Guys, I have no idea. Maybe it's gonna be fine, maybe not. But you can literally see everything is a little bit more stable, more attacks, more everything just because of him. And decrease attack is not... Yeah, it is super nice in here. To be honest, one of the best debuffs you can bring. Dec decrease speed, decrease attack, and you should be totally fine. Like not totally totally but you kind of know what i mean so cold heart still survived that's nice vault keeper is on the edge too but he is actually not built for fire knight at the moment not at all and he's built for hydra i can literally rebuild him and everything would be so much easier yeah but i want to make my hydra team in like 10 minutes after i'm done here so it is okay don't die Oh, so close and still we are on on we are still fighting everything is okay it is it's nice I, i'm not liking this team right now too to be honest too much like yeah woo, you can do it sometimes Gronko. wow 
but I just want to show you that it is possible. Don't die. Oh. So close. <laughs> yeah, but that's it about it. I'm going to show you the team, like what I kind of have on stats and something. So you can just imagine for yourself what kind of things you got to bring to the table, you know? All right. We use recently first. And we're not going to take a look at the code arts. They disappointed me. But yeah, she is in a nine piece protection, makes our Razovac do more damage. It is super nice. She is over 300. I can put the Fire Knight in here. That's the real stats. You're gonna take a look blessings and stuff. She got Phantom Touch, but it's actually not triggering so often. So it's not reliable or something. It's not gonna happen all the time. She has War Master and Defense with counter attack. Counter attacks are even more worth now. He makes weeks will makes you survive, and those counter attack masteries they can proc, and everything is just a little bit more easy because you're just counter attacking, you know. Razovak, like he has a six star crushing rank right now. He has stacked on damage, but I just want to show you that is even possible. That's why I put in the cold heart to kind of show you that you can use your newt plus a other dps and something and it will be okay for you so those are the thingies i can click it again those are the stats for fire knight he does have crushing rent like i said mastery is right here helm smasher plus counter attack down there tomb lord and like I said before, this is not a finished team or something, just something that you can get creative a little bit and do your own thing. Let me press the right stage. Those are the stats for in-game in Fire Knight. Masteries are like that, kind of the same. We got Giant Slayer plus heal when we have... No, wait, that one. And when we have less than 50% HP and also counter attack right here. So we can sometimes get free attacks. That is always appreciated. I think I already showed you him. Yes, but also we can, uh, why not? Why not again? Just a quick fire knight that he does not have any blessings. Faultless defense, amazing on him. And masteries are like that. I went down the resistance one because of Hydra, but if I would just build him for Fire Knight, I would go a different route. Not the Cold Hearts. The Cold Hearts disappointed me. It's not good. Take a look at the Nude. He is actually not super fast and stuff. Let's go up on Fire Knight again. Those are the stats for him. And he does have um, Brimstone, but Brimstone does actually nothing for you in there. Not really. <laughs> so it's cool. He does not have Phantom Touch or something that makes us do the run right now, but it shouldn't work for you because no Phantom Touch on 5 star and stuff, but it's okay. He does not have anything else. I would maybe go counter attack right there, but he's also already bringing enough counter attacks because of Mikage and him increasing the buffs. So it's not even worth it. And he is on Giant Slayer. Those have been basically all the champions. I just want to give you an idea why he's actually nice. Wixwill is yeah, not the, the worst in the world, but also not the most broken, but you can bring him an end game content so he is a nice champion and that will be the end of the video <laughs> don't forget to press the like button subscribe if you haven't done already and yeah <laughs> have a nice day